three, two, one. All right, guys, what's going on? North Coast Tactical here. Welcome back to another video. We've got some pretty awesome stuff, some special stuff going on right now. As you can see, we've got a rifle and we are about to, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, we're about to get some revenge here. So we'll put some context in the video. Uh, so for you to understand really how we got to this point, let me first take you back two years ago to August 2017. All right guys, welcome to the studio. So, uh, it's it's been a little while. Been a little while since a uh, context of the video. So we were doing some yard work in August of 2017. 17. And you guys were helping me out. And I was paying you guys so you could go to where? Uh, a church conference, something like that? a church that. conference, yeah. Okay, so uh, they're helping me do some yard work, cut some trees down, a bunch of limbs, and, you know, trying to help them out, get them to their, their church camp. And boy, did things take a turn <laughs> for the worst. So um, we were getting ready to light the, the fire. We're getting everything ready, all the limbs, which um, I don't know why we needed to do it that day. I have no yeah, idea why. It was hot. It was hot. Long day. Long day. So. We could have went inside and like yep. i don't know like watch the movie or Hang something that was the and, plan um, yeah it was, it was nice. so what happened um we poured a bunch <laughs> of gas on a lot a lot of gas like a this. five gallon thing of gas like a lot <laughs> like two five gallon things yeah of gas. and i i mean i had i had lit fires like this before where you leave a gas trail and light it but this this did not happen that, that way. <laughs> um, it really, it was, it was a disaster. So I bent down to light the, the fire with um, a lighter. And yeah, I know I can hear you in the comments like, well, that was stupid. <laughs> I, I got it. But again, I've lit fires like that before and it has been perfectly fine. So, um, well, I don't know. You guys tell me what happened next. Uh, and then the fire erupted. And it was nothing but a, uh, a white flame that you see. <laughs> it was. I honestly thought like the Lord engulfed, was taking me. Fully engulfed in flame. So, I'll, I'll put up some pictures. I don't know if they have pictures that you guys can send me pictures of what you look like, but I'll put pictures up of myself of what I looked like because I did get it the worst out of all of us uh, because I was right in it. They were behind me, um, and it still got to them, but I was fully engulfed in flames. Um, like he said, a, a white light just completely, utterly surrounding me. I was blind for, I don't know, at, at least a few seconds. So a after that, um, we're all <laughs> running for our Took lives. Off, just stop, drop, and roll. Rolling yep. on the ground, in <laughs> the gravel. Gone. And like, uh, you didn't feel it at first. Like, we were like, no, adrenaline cool. rush. Like, we were I was like, fine. you I good? Fine. You guys you good? I just was really like hot. Me and him and looked at like, each other. Cool. I was like, Dan, you good? He's taking like, his shirt I'm, off. He's like, I'm yeah. good. I'm good. And then like it, like <laughs> boom, everything hit the ceiling, and it was just like, it went. Oh my it gosh. went from like it went really from zero to a hundred, like in the blink of an eye. Like as soon as like we looked at each other, and I'm just like, I'm good. Are you good? Caleb's good. And they're just like, we're like water. No. So like I ran. We took the long way around yeah, his house. Yeah, yeah. I ran to the backyard of my house and started spraying my arms down with the garden hose. I'm back there. I'm trying to get some water. I'm like, I need water. I need water. And he was burning like bad. So like he was trying to like get himself. I was like, that's it. I got to hop in the shower. So he runs in the house and jumps in the shower with all his clothes on. <laughs> and then I'm in the backyard spraying my arms down. And I look down at my arms, and there's just skin glopping off mm -hmm. of my arms, dripping, just literally like, dripping like, like it's like a horror wax. movie, like, like just dripping. Just it's, it's the grossest so thing you've gross. ever seen. He comes in the I house. Was just staring at I, guys, I had like... finally taken my shirt off and my 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 pants off at that time. I'm in the I'm in there in my underwear. Caleb really didn't get any burns, so he's sitting trying to make sure I'm all right. And I, it's like it was numbing. And then out of nowhere, you hear the door open up, and he's just like. Ah! <laughs> He's screaming. I'm I'm losing my mind. And then like I, I the second I move my hand from the water, I start like shaking and like I start feeling the pain. He's like, call my wife, call my wife. 
He couldn't get the password on it, so Dan's freaking out. And I couldn't, like, use my hands either because they're... Yeah. He couldn't do it. His hands all shaky. So Jerome had to do it, didn't he? I, I tried touching it. I'm sitting here. I swear I felt like I was dumb. I'm like, Duh. I couldn't do it. We finally, like, get in the car after he called his wife. She thought it was a joke, too. She honestly thought it was an absolute prank. She thought prank. we were pranking her, but uh, <laughs> I'm letting her even like it. Joke's on her. Right, she right, was right. pregnant and didn't. Right, she actually I, thought it was a can joke. I, can I say this? So, we both, uh, he was old enough to drive, right? Yeah, at that time I was. He was old yeah. enough to drive. I couldn't drive physically. Caleb didn't have his driver's license, but drove us to the hospital. I think that's okay in an emergency I'm pretty sure that's fine, and it was definitely an emergency. I and we live again, in BFE. We live in the middle of nowhere. I've complained to you guys about this before. You know that I live in the middle of nowhere, okay? So there was no way I was waiting for an ambulance to take a half an hour. By to the get time here. an ambulance would have got here, we would have probably been in shock. So it's a ha- it's a ground. half an hour probably for the ambulance to get here. Another at least half hour to 40, 45 minutes to get to a hospital. I'm not doing that. So so I, he just he had drives, him speed, and we he goes. We're aloe vera running, everywhere. We're speeding around people. We're, we're going through red lights. We and have stuff, aloe vera like, squirting all over us. Oh, yeah. My arm's hanging out the window. You ask Skin Caleb. You hanging. ask Caleb. Oh. I'm in the back seat in my underwear. I couldn't have any time to grab my clothes, right? And I'm in the back seat. Shaking. I'm going into shock. The window's down, and I'm sitting here back here like, True. <laughs> I Dan couldn't was stop it. Out the window I'm shaking. Skin. He's screaming. He, Caleb's driving. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, he's, he calls my wife and is talking to her about what's going on and I, she, my wife is is at a at, at our church at some function thing and and I'm she thinks that we're pranking her and I'm literally screaming He's like this, this is, is not a joke. prank. This is not a joke. I'm dying Go here. to the hospital. Um, she was very pregnant at this like, point. To the point where like, she could have like burst it, I swear. She was yeah. like not almost 9 months pregnant if not 9 months pregnant when this happened cuz yeah, she was 9 months pregnant because yeah. her daughter was born. Yeah. Like a couple what? I don't know, a week, 2 weeks later. Yeah, uh, you were still so like what? She was hospital? very pregnant when this was happening. So um But anyways, my what? bad. We were at the hospital. Dan goes in. My mom I ran. already I my, ran in. My bro. mom already hates like the people that I hang around is cuz like the people I go to church with, right? So like the last thing I wanted to do is be like, "Hey mom, just got blown up in a fire at one of the church I got the second house. degree burns at a church guy's house. Hey, I'm at the hospital." So I'm sitting in the back seat like, "All right, this aloe vera's all right." They eventually Caleb comes out and he's like, "You good?" And I'm outside the car in my underwear, shaking like crazy. So he had to go in They the bring hospital. a nurse out to escort me in there. I'm we already go in, there. in there, bro. I'm already in there. My <laughs> We go in there. Off. It's crazy, man. I'm sitting there, and Caleb's like trying to fill out my name. Didn't you like spell my name wrong Jerome or something? with the M. He I spelled my name wrong. Name. I'm shaking. He's shaking, <laughs> spelling my name. The woman's like, Jerome, you can go back there now. I'm like... Yeah, I messed her whole thing up because they were like, Jerome, you're not in the system. And I'm like... Oh, your name's Jerome. Yeah, yeah Jerome. so like... <laughs> I get back there. I see Dan. Dan's over there. He's still freaking out. They got his arms hold on, up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So when when I'm ba- I'm back there already. By probably by the time he got in there, I'm already back there because I mean, really, he got it bad. If he got it bad, I got a hundred times worse. Oh, You'll- ten ten times a hundred. So man. um, they're they're treating me. They're giving me all kinds of chemical baths and stuff, and like giving me. Um, what was that? Dilaudid? Yeah, Dilaudid. Ten Woo! times stronger than morphine, bro. Holy cow. Anyway, we'll get to that. But, <laughs> uh, the, they're, the, they're trying to check me to make sure there's no burns anywhere else. They're like, we're gonna have to cut your pants off and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, these are my favorite pants. You ain't touching my <laughs> pants. So, burn, I'm burned to death. I'm like, you ain't touching my pants. So, they, we get my pants off. They check. I don't have any burns on my legs. I don't know how. Because I were, was I Dude, wearing shorts or something? I don't remember. He matter. was right there. <laughs> yeah, when we I say he was pictures. right there you in the fire, the fire was I like... swear, he sent us pictures after. I mean, there's where, the fire. Where I'm the burn the spot was, and you could see just this green green spot of grass. Didn't I send you the picture <laughs> yeah. when I came home from the hospital? Yeah, man. I sent you guys the picture. Dude, but the anyways, whoosh like sound. I walked past him. Oh, the whoosh sound, dude! When it first they lit, finally it like, got me whoosh. in the in the it room. It was the scariest thing. That was oh. it's, honestly to this day. If I hear a fire go, whoop, it still gives me <laughs> no. like chills. <laughs> that was like, the loudest. To this day, I still scares. can't go by fire. Like I can't. My hands will actually start to shake. I don't know what it is, but it's legit. Like it's legit. It's like psycho. Yeah, it's how like do you think I problem. feel? I have to heat with fire in this studio. <laughs> oh, but anyways, we get into my room. 
And, like, they lay me down, and the guy next to me was, like, he was, like, there was something wrong with him, something, like, he was, like, bleeding out or something, and then I got him on my side screaming, and they gave me Dilaudid. Well, ever since I've ever been drugged up, man, I'm a funny Percocet. guy. They gave, you they gave me a Percocet, and then they gave me Dilaudid. And I swear, I was singing praise music. His wife is in there, and she's sitting there, like, laughing her butt off. But, dude, when, by the time the guy came in to have to scrub me, I'm sitting there, they're like, they got to put, it, oh, put a tetanus shot on me. You got scrubbed and a tetanus? Yeah. Bro, all right, so <laughs> they they let him go. They sent you home, right? Yeah, late. No, 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 they no, sent no, me no, late. no, no, They didn't I send me home. I was there a couple home. hours. They sent me to the burn unit in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, it's because you had third degree burns. By ambulance, they he, sent me there. I didn't get to go home. He ain't telling you. He I had third degree burns. I had second degree burns. I spent, but it's funny because... I don't have any scars from that. But I all, do. But he does. I have scars all over my fingers. So they, I, I'm in the ambulance going to the burn, the Metro burn unit in Cleveland. And again, uh, on Dilaudid, all drugged up. I'm literally, I'm passing people by. Like, I mean, I've got third degree burns. I'm like in serious pain. I, I think that it was third or could have been no, second yours, I don't yours know. was third because because i remember the doctor listen, came in and told me i don't me. know what the difference is you know what i really don't care uh some somebody who knows it all will tell me down in the comments but uh i'm i'm literally i'm like him like i get on that stuff and i'm just funny man and i'm like sitting like i don't even not even aware of what's going on i'm just like telling people like as they walk by like hey have a good day <laughs> it's wait, like what did you say? three oh, o'clock yeah. in the morning or <laughs> wait, 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 like, wait. Well, you, you know what you said to me when i came in <laughs> no i don't know oh what i said God. to you you were all drugged up drum was in the other i think your drum was with us you're like did you guys have fun or what <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he did say that he's like as your did brain. we not have fun or what and i, I was, was like, just like no. i was like yeah <laughs> but anyways i'm sitting there and the woman comes in and she's the nurse she goes i gotta give you a tetanus i was like a tetanus? Where? She goes, well, in your butt. <laughs> and I look at Caleb, I was like, she gonna put a shot in my butt? I'm, I'm high at this point. So I, I repeated myself like 10 times. Caleb's like, you're good, bro. You're good. I'm like, can I hold your hand? <laughs> I, 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 held, I held his hand like a pregnant woman and took that thing like a little girl. I was like, ah, what are you doing? She stuck me with it. Man, I was so scared. That nigga was long, bro. You know how many jokes? that I got about being a firearms instructor after that <laughs> happened. <laughs> I never even thought about that. Oh, man. Anyway, so fast forwarding like, you know, a week or two, I don't really remember exactly when because, again, I was super high. Um, <laughs> legally, okay, okay. Yes, we legally, weren't doing nothing crazy. Legally on drugs for the pain. Although they okay. gave me a prescription to actually go get Percocets. Well, they gave me a prescription too, but I can't take. But narcotics. I couldn't took per I couldn't yeah, have took Percocets and not been the same person. So, anyway, so fast forward. Um, my daughter's born. I'm still bandaged mostly. We bring my daughter home, and I'm you know obviously you want to hold my daughter newborn. Um, not knowing that there's some uh, wounds on my arm that actually got MRSA from being in the burn unit. And that actually was transferred over to my daughter, which I'll show you uh, pictures of her ear. She had it behind her ear. And so after that, this now these guys are they're out of the story now. This is just what happened to me. So it didn't end for me with just a fire like it did for you guys. So... I, we're at, uh, and, and at this point, I've got, you know, all over my arms, I've got this, this MRSA. Uh, if you don't know what MRSA is, uh, go Google it. And I gave that to my daughter because, again, she was just a few days old. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, her skin was still sensitive at that point. So right. the MRSA was transferred to her. We went to the emergency room later that night. And they checked her out, and they're like, yeah, she's got to go to Rainbows. And the nurse looked at my arm, and she's like, uh, don't go anywhere, Dad. You're staying, too. And I'm like, the frick you mean I'm staying? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going with my daughter. And they're like, no, nah, you're not going anywhere. You have MRSA. I'm like, I'd never heard of MRSA. I don't know what it is. Right. Um, so I ended up staying a week in the hospital with MRSA, and then my daughter actually spent a week in Rainbows, like two days after she was born in uh, Rainbows for MRSA. 
And my story doesn't even end there. No, sir. Because after that, I was cured, healed, whatever you want to call it, of, <laughs> of MRSA. I went back to work in maybe like a, I don't know, like a week or so, maybe two weeks later. I ended up getting MRSA again. I don't know how. Twice. Dose. Dose MRSA. Um... Numerous no, adults. no idea how, but I ended up getting it again, and then obviously spend more time in the hospital. So that was that was fun. Um, so that's pretty much the story. Unless you moral guys, of the story, don't blow yourself up. Don't blow yourself up. Don't, don't use gasoline. Yourself. Of course, we don't use we don't use gasoline other than for what we just did. Only for the tube. <laughs> it's only for you guys because I love you guys so much. I'm willing to risk my life. A second time. A second time. <laughs> the first time, uh, we we probably would have went viral if we had <laughs> that first video. Man, we it would have been all over the world. Three the idiots. Biggest. All right, so now we are here. We are getting revenge on our brush pile back there. And pretty much everybody that is here behind me was involved in some way, shape, or form. So um, we're all here to witness this. So without further ado, let's do it. We'll see if I can hit it on the first try. It, it might, it, it's out there. Hold on, let me show you how far away this is. Okay. That, all the way out there. So. All right, we've got two cameras down there. Hopefully they don't die. We'll see what happens, so. All right, you boys ready? We ready. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Three, two, one. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up. You guys know the drill. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, share it with your friends. That's how this channel grows. And if you haven't yet, please consider punching that subscribe button in the face or, you know, do whatever you want if you want to just tap it, tap, tap it, it nicely. Wanna give it a little love touch. Either one. Go ahead, do that. It's your life. Do whatever you want. If you haven't, also, Ring that bell for ding, notifications ding, 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 uh, so you can get alerted when we make new content. Not like it really matters because YouTube doesn't really notify people when I make videos. Oh. But whatever, it's nice to do anyway. And I'm a YouTuber, so we're supposed to tell you guys to do that stuff. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay humble, stay free, stay safe. We'll see ya. Peace. Oh, and uh, shout out to Matthew for manning the cameras. Thanks, buddy. Stay here and talk on the camera because it's just what I do. Bombshell Jerome, follow me on the Instagram. It's Jerome Evans Jr. on the Instagram. That's fake. Yeah, it is. It's fake. I can't actually let you guys have my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Angel, Hi, over Angel. there. We're waving at Angel. <laughs> I said I can't.